Well, uh, this is uh, Mark Kenkart with Climb, and I'm actually here with Mark Dunham. Yep. And uh, Mark Dunham is better known in the uh, adventure world as Radio Man. How did you get the name Radio Man? Well, it's kind of funny because uh, Adventure Rider, when I bought my, uh, I bought a GS, 1150 GS Adventure in 2006, and so I was starting to look at gear, and so of course I found the Adventure Rider site, but right before that I had uh, had a jacket, actually two jackets wired up uh, so I could listen to my music and have an iPod remote on the sleeve, and I took it into a seamstress to wire the wires on the inside lining, and she called me Radio Man, and that was the day I signed up for Adventure Rider, so I was still chuckling that she called me Radio Man. So that was what I used, and now it's stuck, so people know me by it. You uh, mentioned all the emails and friendships that you've developed off, off the site right. with people going through similar struggles and right. situations. Well, I think that's what really connected me to the riding community. One, it was a real outlet for me during really difficult times in my life, as my wife had early onset Alzheimer's disease, and um, I uh, was tasked with taking care of her. And uh, I found through ADB Rider sharing that journey of the difficult stuff, not all the good stuff, but the difficult stuff was really, really powerful. And it connected me with people all over the world that had life challenges. And uh, it's not really about the challenge. It's how you adapt to them and, and that you try to make the most of it. And it, it really set the tone for my riding. And then when my wife's days came to an end and I took care of her and I, I, I was dreaming about what was next in my life and decided to do this trip, uh, as I went into the riding community, people were uh, very gracious, offered their homes, advice, information, and it has. It's connected me with people all over the world. It's really made my trip uh, an adventure, not just an off-road riding adventure but an adventure in life. When you're traveling the world, you have to manage your risks. So I'm not as a risk taker as much as some guys that really love to go out and camp way out in the wilderness by themselves. Um, I enjoy people too much, uh, yeah. so I end up staying you know, closer to where people are. So it's been interesting because I started my trip solo and everybody goes, oh my gosh, you're riding by yourself. And it's like, it doesn't take long within this community to run into other people, other travelers. In Columbia, I was riding with a young British guy, young James. And uh, yeah, we had so much fun in, in Columbia. Specifically, people were super friendly. We'd stop for a gas stop and it would take an hour and a half to get out of the gas stop because we put our bikes on our center stands. People wanted to take pictures. They wanted to <laughs> know where we were going, how fast the bike was, how much it cost. And we just got into the moment. So I have pictures of people stacked up on our bikes and then sometimes we had one older woman that was so excited we were riding Columbia and she came up to us and she had she went back to her car and got these candies and said thanks for coming to Columbia and in Spanish all in Spanish but it was a really touching moment she was so excited that we were exploring her country where are you headed next Superintown, well obviously yeah Idaho, so. <laughs> I came all the way to Rigby Idaho we're uh, we're gonna try out this new gear and I'm really excited about it fits totally what I think of as riding gear high-end gear highly technical has all the right things to be comfortable since I'll be living in it every day. Um, I left uh, Buenos Aires, Argentina three days ago and uh, I, my bike just landed in New Zealand. I'm pretty excited about it. I'll be getting on a plane in, in three days to head down to, to New Zealand. I'm going to spend two or three months there before going to Australia and then hopefully on to Africa. Well, I'm excited about it. I mean, just trying new gear and uh, I think most of us that ride, part of the riding is, uh, is all the gear that goes with it and the gadgets. Uh, ask anybody that knows me, I have lots of gadgets on my bike that yeah. make, but make my riding experience experience better for me. So having the right gear has always been a quest, you know, to have it that really fits and does well. So really appreciate you coming in and uh, really look forward to working with you. Yeah, me too. All Thank right. you. Thanks, buddy.